Over 60 miles from London, approaching the ports of the Solent in southern England, lies the historic city of Winchester. Over many centuries, the city's thoroughfares had become a small part of the 80-mile-plus trading route between London and Southampton. But with the rise of motor traffic in the 1920s, these quickly became inadequate for the needs of business, not to mention the implications of heavy traffic on city life. The Ministry of Transport had to build a bypass around the city, but there was a small problem. Winchester is surrounded on all sides by difficult terrain. Design regulations at the time allowed for the construction of a dual carriageway nestled between St Catherine's Hill and the Itchen Valley on the eastern side of the city. By the inception of World War II, the project was at an advanced stage and construction was allowed to continue and complete the work. The, the road was opened in February 1940, partially reserved for military traffic until the end of the war and replaced the A33 through Winchester. The Winchester Bypass was technically significant for its time, featuring two grade-separated junctions and a parabolic arch bridge it demonstrated that Britain was capable of building roads approaching the quality of that of the German autobahns. The impressive bridge carrying Aylesford Road over the new road became famous after George Rogers flew a Curtis Tomahawk under it. Locally the plane was assumed to be a Spitfire, and so Spitfire Bridge earned its memorable nickname. Despite this success, however, the bypass only resolved traffic flows to and from the Basingstoke Road, traffic bound for the A34 and A31 westbound would have to travel through Winchester for a while longer. The late 1960s saw major changes to the surrounding network. The Winchester bypass was extended to the north, meeting the road to Oxford and replacing the A34 through Winchester. Around the same time, the Otterbourne and Chandler's Ford bypasses were completed to the south and the London to Basingstoke motorway, the M3, had arrived at Popham to the north. The A31 was rerouted along Poles Lane with a new junction just south of the old Winchester bypass terminus. Soon afterwards, it was decided that the London to Basingstoke motorway should become the London to Southampton motorway and replace the A33, all the way to the planned M27. But the existing route beside St Catherine's Hill was unsuitable for a motorway alignment. A new route had to be found. In 1973, a junction just north from here, at Bar End Road, was grade separated. Around the same time, the junction at Hockley, controlled by traffic lights, received a minor improvement to increase capacity. In 1983, work began to remove Spitfire Bridge and expand the middle section of bypass into the M3 motorway, which was being extended to the south of Popham. This new section ended at a temporary tie-in with the existing Bar End Junction. By 1991, the Chandler's Ford and half of the Otterborn bypass had also been upgraded to motorway standard, leaving short sections of 1960s and 1940s bypass surrounded by modern motorways. By now, the Hockley Junction was carrying upwards of 40,000 vehicles a day, causing delays up to an hour on its approaches. 
a new route through the chalk downlands around St Catherine's Hill was decided and construction began in 1993, but not before an environmental activist group proclaimed the Dongas tribe seized the opportunity to disrupt constructors attempting to work on site. In 1994, the old bypass closed for the last time and was subsequently reverted to nature. The following year, the M3 motorway was completed. Today, remnants of the old bypass remain in use near Kingsworthy and Chilcombe Park. The 1970s Bar End Road Bridge also remains and is visible from St Catherine's Park and Ride. Proposals exist to rebuild Junction 9 of the M3 and to convert the hard shoulder into a traffic lane from here to the M27.